Hello garden friend, welcome back. So today we're finally getting my um, gardenia planted up in the ground. And the leaves are a bit yellow and that's because it needs water. I haven't been watering it. It's been on the porch. It's been cold, so I've been inside. It's been weird because it's been cold, but it's been hot. Like some days will go hot, some days will go cold. I guess you guys have a cold front up north. So we're getting some of that. So I'm putting it in here. Um, I've explained to you guys before, if you're not aware, with the gardenias, you need to have um, you need to have acidic soil. I do have a soil acidifier. I'm gonna put it in a container, which will be this one. And one of you guys asked me, where do I get my container from? Funny story about this. I got this from Walmart. It has a hole on the side and holes in the bottom. I got this when I just started gardening. I thought it was a planter. It's not. It's a hose, it's a container for your hose. You put your hose in there and the hose come out here and then you pull it out. I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work, but yeah. When I got home, the tag literally shows a hose in the container. I'm like, oh, but I like the size and I like the color. So I kept it and I've been using it for my plants. So my garden will be going in here and I'll be putting the container in here. The reason why I'm putting it in here because right here is surrounded by a concrete slab. It is recommended not planting gardenias within six feet of a slab because it needs acidic soil and with the um, concrete it seeps into the soil and takes away from the acidity, acidity it's making it more alkaline. So I'm putting it in here and this way in case it's not working out right here I can simply take the, the pot out and just put it somewhere else. But for right now that's where it's going to go. Not only that, everything is dying in this little pot right here. So the only thing that's surviving is my super tuna bubble gum. It's over there living its life. I'm just gonna leave it back there and take this out and relocate it to the woods. I want to do an actual, um, an entire, like a hedge of evergreen in the woods. So I'm gonna use this as a tester plant to see if it survived there because there's quite a bit of shade there, but we're so humid here in Florida that it may be fine. So that's gonna be my testing plant. So that's the plan for today. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get this out. And this is a daffodil that I had in here. And this is a superbina, a verbena at uh, two. They were, they're drying out. They're not doing too well. Like I said, the only thing that's look, doing great is the, the bubble gum. So first, I am taking out the daffodil. Try not to hit the bulb. And I'm gonna put it somewhere else. We're in what, April? Let's see. I hear some strong roots already. I didn't know daffodils have such vigorous roots. Wow. Looks like scallions. <laughs> Look at all those roots. I did not realize it had that much roots. Look at that. That's a lot of roots. But right now it's supposed to be absorbing nutrients to get the bulb nice and ready for the winter. So it's, and it wasn't getting that much sun here either. So that could be another reason why it didn't bloom. The other ones bloomed, this one didn't. So I'll get this one into a new home and see if it catches on. So I'm gonna take the verbenas out. Let me show you which one they are. They're both the same. Mounding perennial. Oh, it's actually a phlox. Hmm, it's not a verbena. Is it a phlox or is it a verbena? Now I forgot. <laughs> I think it's, no, it's a verbena because I moved the phlox already. See now, I don't even know what these are, but I'm gonna move them out anyway and put them next to my superbenas. I sort of lifted them already. Like they didn't even have any roots. Look at that. Ow, 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 I got poked. So I gotta wear gloves. <laughs> so got a little bit of green on it, so I'll salvage it while I can. And put it over here. See? Matches the other ones that's in that row. And I grab the other one just in case it'll bounce back. And I'll put it there next to it. All right, and put a bit of a biotone in the holes and get them planted up. 
and I found my gloves in some random area. Well, these gloves, that's not the gloves that I wanted, but it will do. It's going. There's a bicycle in the hall. There we go. I should put the longer legs this way. Since it's already, look how short the roots are, oh my goodness. So I hope it's not too late and I can <laughs> salvage them. We'll see. Go ahead back fill it. There's a lot of rocks in here. I'll get rid of those later. Take them out now. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting the daffodils over here temporarily. We'll see how they do. <laughs> I'm just making a little hole right here for them. I'm not expecting them to bounce back too vigorously, but I'll just give them a chance. And I'll just put them in there. <laughs> and then we just cover the hole up. Ta da! <laughs> and they've already lost most of their root system. You need help? Okay, mommy coming. All right, so now we got all the surrounding plants out. Let's try. <laughs> Okay, we're going down. Okay, and I moved this over here not too long ago, so it shouldn't be that much in there. See, the root ball hasn't even taken any major stick to the, oh, it's thorny. Mother, gloves on. So I can grab it. And, I'm, and I have the whole dug in the forest already, so I'm just gonna put it in there. Oh, it's prickly. I guess I gotta do the other side. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. We got some roots. Ooh. Hey, y'all see it? Ah put it in here to transport it whoa all right so now to get this in its new home So this is my former shade garden that the snakes and bugs and animals and poison have driven me away from. So I'm just testing this out here, I guess I have two of them, to see how if it tolerates shade. It does get a little bit of morning sun but not a lot. So I'll see how it does, see if it's a good candidate for my row of evergreens that I want to plant up. And I have the hole already dug. All right, there we go. I take the all. 
which is the only place that doesn't have any sand. And I think it's a swamp dirt. <laughs> and junipers, I don't think they like wet, soggy soil. This is not soggy soil though, it's just look very rich. So we'll see how rich it is. But yeah, this is the new home for it. Gotta get that watered in too. And I'll keep an eye on it and see how it does. The thing is, over here it, does, it gets water so it doesn't need a lot of water. And I tend to forget plants over here so I'm gonna try and do a better job with this one. All right, let's head back to the front. I should put it more centered. Oh well, there's space next to that one for another one. <laughs> And while I'm waiting to dig my hole, oh, sorry. All right, so while I'm waiting for to dig my hole, I'm just gonna let that get some hydration because it was dry. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and get my hole dug for this and measure it up. <clears throat> I have to measure it and make sure it's deep enough, so let's get... No. Why? Because it's already struggling. I'm not going to take it off. Yes, you are. I'm not going to take it off again. <laughs> so you did take it off the first time. So we're going to dig the hole here. Let's see if it's deep enough. I gotta key it. Okay. Do you want me to key this? Oh, uh, no, thank you, sweetheart. I don't want it to be clean. It's dirty. So, this will give it some mm. barrier between mm. the concrete slab, this poor soil, and help me maintain a better environment for it in the container. I'm messing up my walkway. It does a plant? It does a plant? Yep, that's my plant. I can look at this? Yes, you can look at it. Okay, so I think that's good. Because I need to have enough um, soil in there so it won't topple over. Because it gets windy here in Florida. So I need to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to make it a little bit deeper. Actually, this looks pretty secure and it's gonna have the soil in it so it should be fine. Look at all this nice soil in here. I know my plants don't like it. I guess it's the concrete seeping in is why they're not too happy other than the Supertunia Vista bubblegum. That one's living her life back there. She's like, yes, a whole bed to myself. Almost full. Oh no, be careful. I can dig now. So I think that's good. I can dig now. All right, so I'm just gonna pretty much fill this in here. It's almost like burying the container itself. Probably would have been better without this bubble gum, but I'll let it stay there for now. <laughs> we just got a little evening sun, so. It shouldn't be too bad. All right, let me go get my potting soil. And you don't want to use garden soil. You need to use potting soil because garden soil will <laughs> make it, um, will clog, clog it up and the water won't drain properly with that. So any newbie gardeners like me, make sure you're using potting soils in your container, not garden soil. I should do a video for um, tips I learned, mistakes I made as a new gardener, and how to avoid them. <laughs> All right, so it's buried pretty deep. See, it's about was about the height of the other one, and now it's almost covered to the lip. I think it's a good height. All right, so I got my potting soil, and I got my soil acidifier. I'm gonna get in there, 
and we're gonna get started while I'm planting what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some important facts that we should know when planting gardenias and since I'm in Florida all this information came from the University of Florida um, they have a special section for gardening and agriculture so most of my information I do get from there and most colleges do for your state or you can just do Google but I find that they're more reliable because they break it down by zones and everything all right, so let's put my potting soil. I can pour it in here. And I don't want to pour too much because I want to be able to make sure my container fits. So let's make sure the container fits. <laughs> Knocking off all my yellow leaves. It's already dying already. Yep, I think this is good. And I get it nice and hydrated. I think my baby took my troll. So I'll just use a spade. Actually, I found her troll. <laughs> well, I just used this itty bitty one since she took mine. And I'm going to get some soil acidifier in the base here. I'm going to mix it in. And this is good for, it turns hydrangeas blue. And it's good for blueberries and hydrangeas. Um, I use the holly tone on my um, roses. It's okay, honey. I use. You made a mess over there, and so I'm guessing that you did. Let me clean it up for you. So I'm just mixing it in. All right. And then I'm going to take this out of the pot and put it in here. Oh, here got a little plant tag here. It says, place in a location where it get lots of light. Let me make sure you can see it. Didn't realize I had a tag here. So place in a location where it gets lots of light. Temperature of 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. No direct hot or cold drafts. Water the soil. So it remains moist. If plant gets so dry, it will react by losing its foliage and buds. Yep, it got dry. Fertilize once a month, except when blooming, using an acid-based fertilizer at half the recommended rate. That's for my garden. Oh, it came off. All right, so let's get it on in. Come on, baby girl. Let's get you to your new home. You know, you've been in here so long. You've been wondering, are you gonna finally get a bigger pot or not? And I got this at Costco. If you remember on my garden haul at Costco, this is a 1.91 gallon container. So she gets to make the lucky trip home with me. This one has quite a few clothes buds. And the stick is fairly sturdy and it has two branches there and it doesn't have as much yellow leaves I think it needs to be watered that's why the leaves are turning yellow so this is the one that we're taking home hi she's here she's here <laughs> and it's a bit heavier since it's watered in there we go look at those roots yeah, she was ready to come out. I wonder if I should tease the roots. Mommy, I'll tease it a little bit. Mommy, yes, honey? You're making a house? Ooh. I'm coming to look at it. Not yet? Okay. So I just tease the roots a bit so it can spread out and go in the new container. Uh, 
and make sure it is actually let me turn the stick to the back get her to the rear there we go is that your good side that is your good side I'm just gonna add the rest of the um, compost I'm gonna add some more acidifier Let me add some compost, not compost, um, potting soil. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. looking good there she is so gorgeous all right there she goes there she goes oh my goodness and imagine it being in white they got the bubble gums in the back <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll leave the bubble gums there but look at all the yellow leaves so i'm gonna go ahead and get it watered in now but yes we did it and like i said if i see it starting to get worse or anything like that i'll keep an eye on it um, and put in a different location but for right now I think she's good right there and I have it in a pot so it'll be easy for me to transport it from here to there anybody else in Florida have this thing I promise you, it's like every house in Florida we have this little piece of dirt surrounded by concrete half the flowers don't grow in there and we have to get and the plants that we put in there are not even flowers so we have to get either a palm tree or <laughs> some holly bush or something because nothing survives in it so i think every house in florida we get oh you guys have a house here you go here you go a little garden for you to put flowers in <laughs> in the middle of your concrete and if, if it's not this they have the long strip of dirt next to the house with a walkway right there so yeah but not a lot of plants like to be surrounded by concrete they don't like that environment and gardenias is one of them they do they love an acidic environment and they specifically says do not plant next to concrete slab six feet away so they were very specific about that so that's it it looks it's looking so good um i'm going to i have quite a lot of things look at that some random knickknacks little plants randomly here and there i'm, I'm thinking i should go ahead and get those potted in now since i have an extra 20 minutes or so <laughs> actually i may not because i have to water everything that i just transplanted so let me go ahead and get those watered in so i may not have an extra 20 minutes like i thought so let's get that done and i added some water to it already so that's good here you go bubblegum get some extra water extra water <laughs> But I don't think this is going anywhere. It's in there. So I plant it deep enough and then the soil is holding it down. So I think it's good in my hose barrel. <laughs> it's not even a planter pot, but like I said, it does great. I had it hydrangeas in there before and it did amazing. So love it. So I give it a good drink of water.